Despite Boston's mayor, Michelle Wu admits that a mistake was made in an invitation to a holiday party. Members of the Boston City Council received an email invitation to what's called a gathering of electeds of color. Not all members of the council fit that description. I think we've we've had individual conversations with everyone so people understand that it was truly just a an honest mistake that went out in in typing the email field and um, I look forward to celebrating with everyone at the holiday parties that we will have besides this one as well so um, it is my intention that we can again um, be a city that lives our values and create space for all kinds of communities to come together the mayor apologizing for any confusion that the original email created. Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Today, I want to talk about a uh, situation that's currently going on with Boston Mayor Michelle Wu. Uh, Michelle Wu has been uh, was named, I think, about two years ago to be the, the, the mayor of Boston. And she decided that her office was going to host a Christmas party this year. Um, you know, pretty, pretty standard stuff. But she decided that it was going to be a Christmas for colors only. And, you know, things like this, generally you send it out to those who you intend to. But whoever it is that was in charge of the communication ends up sending it out to everyone. And now the mayor's in a bit of a tussle right now. And she's dealing with a lot of the response and being called racist. Um, this is, you know, this is a, a funny situation, um, one that was easily avoidable. Um, we, we, a lot of times, who, who um, are seeking to be, um, to be politically correct, a lot of times you're, you're, you're doing things that are, that are nonsense. So um, the mayor here, she had went out and she spoke and trying to, to walk things back a bit. But at the end of the day, you know, there's an old rule, treat people the way you want to be treated. And truthfully, right now, if there was a a story about, you know, um, a whites only party and this came out this way, that there would be a, you know, a, it would be Supreme Court rulings. There would be inquiries into everything. Like, think about that, right? A mayor of a U.S. city sent out a letter that said this only we were excluding certain groups of people from a, a, a particular party. You know, this is this is a pretty wild story overall right now, and most people are going to sweep it under the rug like it's nothing. Um, there are as there is definitely races in the world um, on both sides of the aisle, and you know, for for those of us, you know, if you look at right now, um, for for the most part, those who are in DEI, like they they are there in power in a lot of places, like whether it's the teachers' unions, whether it's um, you know human resources where you hire people. Um, these are now the controlling bodies in many areas of society, and they're able to, to move and to shake and to, to command things as they so fit. I'm going to play a video here. We'll watch a little bit of this and come back and talk about it after that. No, but now there's a new war on Christmas. It's the war on white Christmas. Not talking about snow. Boston's Democrat Asian mayor, Michelle Wu, has declared war on white people this Christmas. That's right. The mayor's office sent out an email inviting everyone on the city council to a holiday party. But it wasn't any holiday party. It was one meant only for electeds of color. Now, unfortunately for Michelle, her staffer sent it to all the white people, too, by accident. So she had to send out another email 15 minutes later saying, my bad, that wasn't meant for everybody. <clears throat> white people, you're not invited. Michelle responded to the controversy today and said segregation's fine. It's what Jesus would have wanted. Are you concerned this lends itself at all to further divisiveness? No, I mean, um, again, this is a, a, a group that has been in place for many, many years. We celebrate all kinds of um, connection and identity and culture and heritage in the city. We want to be a city where everyone's identity is embraced. Not inviting one race to a party doesn't sound like embracing, Michelle. And in case you were wondering, yeah, Michelle said the party's still on. But for all the white people, don't worry. They'll have a separate inclusive party at some point. All right, perfect. So there you have it. I'm a strong proponent for common sense uh, governance. And one thing that I am a big fan of is making sure that we're treating people the same way we want to be treated. Um, in a society, things are, are being skewed and, you know, the, 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 the treatment that was once given and once was disdained by a lot for, you know, the whether it's Jim Crow era or things like that, it's, it's being brought back, but in a different form. 
And I don't think that that's right at all. Um, whether, regardless of what someone else does, we as the bigger people are responsible to treat people exactly how we want to be treated. And we, this is something we're going to pass on to our children. We don't want our children to be expressing these particular viewpoints, um, thinking that one particular group is better than another. We, we didn't like it, you know, th for the past 400 years. There's no point for us to, to, to plan and implement that for another 400 years. Do your best to be a better person. Um, you love people as you would like them to, to love you or your children and then go from there. Everyone is not going to, to fit into this box. Everyone is not going to agree and to be, um, you know, agreeable in these particular moments. But we can do what we can do and we can do our best to change the world one person at a time. What are your thoughts on this? Please comment below, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day.